Accession is the 89th episode of the syndicated American science fiction television series Star Trek – Deep Space Nine, the 17th episode of the fourth season. Set in the 24th century, the series follows the adventures on Deep Space Nine, a space station located near a stable wormhole between the Alpha and Gamma quadrants of the Milky Way galaxy. In the episode, Captain Sisko Avery Brooks is given a much appreciated opportunity to relinquish the title of emissary, but soon comes to regret it. A subplot in this show is that Keiko and Molly return to the station after her botanical mission to Bior, and a topic of this part of the show is re-adapting to life after partner's absence. For example, O'Brien reduces his time hanging out with Bashir to spend more time with his family now that they are back. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Plot. An ancient Bajoran ship emerges from the wormhole. Its passenger, Akoram Lan, is a revered Bajoran poet who disappeared 200 years ago. Akoram claims to have been chosen by the prophets, who are worshipped by the Bajorans as gods, as their emissary—a role thought to belong to Captain Sisko. Sisko, being a human and a Starfleet officer, never felt comfortable being the Bajorans' messiah figure and cedes the title without resistance. Akoram believes the prophets brought him back to restore Bayor's traditional caste system, which the Bajoran people abandoned during the 50-year Cardassians' occupation so that they could effectively organize a resistance. Akoram tells Major Kira that she must resign her military commission and become an artist, which was her family's traditional profession under the old caste system. Akoram hopes to have the caste system legally enforced by punishments such as deportation. Sisko warns Akoram that caste-based discrimination is banned by the Federation Charter and thus would disqualify Bayor from Federation membership, but Akoram trusts in the will of the prophets. Sisko has a dream where Kai Opaka, a former spiritual leader of Bayor and an old friend of Sisko's, tells him that he has lost sight of who he is. Dr. Bashir believes that Sisko has experienced an orb shadow, a hallucination that is known to happen to people who have been exposed to an orb of the prophets. Bajorans believe orb shadows are reminders from the prophets to people who ignore what they've been told in a previous vision. A Bajoran priest, Porta, murders a fellow priest whose ancestors were morticians and thus would be considered spiritually unclean. Sisko realizes that Akoram's influence will be bad for Bayor's future and challenges him for the role of emissary. They decide that the only way to settle the matter is to go to the wormhole and ask the prophets themselves what they want. Akoram and Sisko enter the wormhole and are received by the prophets. The prophets tell them that Sisko is in fact their emissary and that they brought Akoram to the present to help Sisko appreciate the importance of his role. Akoram repents and asks for death, but Sisko pleads to have him sent back to his own time unharmed. Akoram is sent back to his own era with no memory of what happened to him in the future. Sisko is once again recognized as the emissary by the Bajorans, who are happy that they will not have to return to the caste system. This time, he accepts the role happily, now that he appreciates the positive influence he has on the Bajorans. Major Kira, however, notices that Akoram's epic poem The Call of the Prophets which she remembers as being incomplete now exists in its entirety, suggesting that Akoram was able to complete his masterwork after returning to the past. See also Disaster
the fifth season episode of Star Trek – The Next Generation where, as mentioned, Lieutenant Worf is forced to deliver the O'Brien's first baby, Molly, in the Enterprise's 10 Forward Lounge. External links Accession — on IMDb Accession — at tv.com Accession — at Memory Alpha a Star Trek wiki Accession — at StarTrek.com